Hi guys, so right now I'm in Jalan Sungai Besi and the purpose of my being here is to visit this Luma dealer. They tell me that there is a special ongoing promotion to check out. Okay, so come in. Okay, scan my Sajatra. Press the bell. Ah, there's Rachel there and... Holy... Mr. Ramesh in uh, Lumar Sungai Besi and we are more than a meter apart so SOP comply. Um, behind there is Mr. Ramesh's car. It's a BMW M340i but there's something a bit special with this car because if you see, if you look clearly, the color of that car is, uh, is different. What's the color that you have there? It's a mineral grey. Mineral grey. Mineral grey. But how is it that you ended up with this special colour? Okay, this is actually a special order car because uh, it's the one and only uh, CBU car in Malaysia. Uh, I booked it two years ago. This is... You, you booked this car uh, two years ago. That was before anybody knew that BMW was going to locally assemble the M340i. Correct. There was a secret that they kept. Very, very, very well. well. Very, very well. So, so it means that, so at that time, right, they did, BMW didn't have press cars, or, uh, didn't have press cars, didn't have demo cars. They, all they had in the showrooms when you walk in would have been the 330i. Correct. I test drove the 330i, yeah. and that was also uh, just a test drive because it's nothing like the 340. 340 yeah. is a uh, breed by itself. But what, what convinced you to buy this? Without even, uh, you know, without even having the chance to test drive it? Uh, I've been reviewing it for the last three years uh, since it was a concept car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I will go into YouTube and see what yeah. are the test drives that we've Yeah, yeah. And uh, I always wanted a 3 liter in line. Oh, and yeah, nice, man. Nice, sweet sound. Of yeah, man. I, I totally see where you're coming from because however well BMW says they make their new four cylinders, right? There's something special when it has an inline six, and uh, and the three liter seems to be seems to be that sweet spot. You no, know, you have got two things to look at. One is you look at the time it achieves uh, zero to hundred. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of cars can do that. You know, you just have to improve the turbo and all that. Yeah, you get yes. that. But the sound you get when yes. you do that yes. is what gives you the additional thrill. Because at the end of the day, right, zero to one hundred kilometers per hour is. It's just a number. Right. It's just a number. More important is that journey. How you get from zero to one hundred, the drama, the sense of location that accompanies it. It's a complete feeling when you're actually in the car. Yeah. Yeah. You get very yeah. yeah. Recently I had a chance to review the M340i, but that's the complete example. And I came to the conclusion that if I were to buy any modern BMW that is available in the showroom today, the M340i would be the one that I'm putting my money on. Okay, but I'm making Which that else? Yeah, but I'm making that conclusion having the, after having the opportunity to test drive it. You came to that decision and you put your money down, you know, before you had a chance to see it in the flesh. Yeah. I, I've actually driven an E90 uh, inline 6 2.5 yes okay yeah and uh, i used to enjoy driving it down the country because i was staying closer to that every day in the morning oh. and uh, the sound that you get on the acceleration of the third gear to fourth gear to fifth uh. gear is just fantastic yeah, yeah. and uh bmw did a good job marketing the potential on the m340i and they've been talking about this for a while yeah 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 and uh, I've been following it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So came a point in time where I said that's what I'm gonna get. Nice. And, uh, very, very nice. I booked it. Yeah. And then I started reviewing all reviews after that yeah. because they launched it in December 2019. Yeah, yeah. And US. Yeah. And following that, there were a lot of reviews. Yeah. 
So every day after dinner, that was the job. Yeah. What was the latest review? Yeah. So your M340i is a bit different from all the other M340i's out there in the market. So firstly, your car is made in Germany. Everyone else has come out from Kulim. They, they look at their chassis number, they see P at the front, you see W at the front. Yours is a special order, so you have freedom to spec your car as per what you like. What made you choose what this car? See, the first thing is uh, BMW comes with certain standards in the car. Yeah. And uh, when the car was launched, yeah. there are a lot of accessories that were not there yeah. that you have now. Yeah. I think the only one that was there was the laser lights. The laser the lights. Adaptive suspension was not something that they were talking about much. So yeah. there was not much review on it. Yeah. And based on the standard car without the adaptive suspension, uh -huh. uh, it was already a very good preview for most of the yeah. people with yeah. test road. Yeah. So my whole idea was I needed a color that I can look at every day and smile. Mm. Yeah. Interior and exterior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I never went for black, though black was one of the options that uh, even was pushed by the salesperson. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we talk about after sales, people usually look for a black yeah. M340i, yeah, but I wanted something that was less garang. You know? you know, you know, that's the thing. When I walked in, just now when I walked inside uh, this showroom, right? when I look at your car, right, there's something about this shape that really caught my attention. It, it really catches the eye. See, what, what I did was I actually went to the showroom yeah. and I went through with the salesperson with different shades yeah. of the interior and yeah. exterior. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, certain things in the car is you, it's what you expect from the car. If you want it to be subtle, then there's so many things you can do. This car looks very subtle, yeah. but the more you look at it, uh -huh. It blends in very perfectly with the chromium grey yeah. and the interior. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very nice. So, uh, no, not many options, uh, but color-wise, uh, I always wanted a darker color. It's easier yeah. to manage. But uh, the blue was too striking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, it was something that most people would go for. Correct. You know, Correct. so uh, though at that point in time it was the only one that was purchased yeah uh, I still feel that people are gonna eventually won't want to but right. very few would go for a dream for you know because uh, they usually want it to be a stand up yeah and uh, you would either go for a blue or yeah. a black yeah. Yeah. Uh, just now you said about lights I noticed that you spec the LED headlamps rather than the lasers uh, at the end of the day, I don't mind spending money when it's going to give me either more comfort, more safety, mm -hmm. or it can improve the speed. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's just a gimmick. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. So, it may be good to have, mm -hmm. eventually that will be a standard. Yeah, yeah. But for today's running around, uh, what I have is perfect. But those laser lights are not cheap, man. No, it's not cheap. Not cheap, man. I, I, now they spec it in the, in the local. So it, it hurts when you see the local coming as a standard with laser lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's but what I, I, I really wouldn't want to get, in, uh, get into a brush with, with those cars, man. The, <laughs> the insurance bill will be crazy. <laughs> so you spec the car pretty much following the standard. Uh, you see? But what barang have you tambah to the car after you picked it up? Uh, I just added the skirtings. Skirtings? Okay. Original and performance skirt? No. no. After market. Okay. After market. Okay. Okay. Because, uh, you know, with the Malaysian roads, uh, very often those things are going to be damaged very easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and uh, it's easier to just change out the aftermarket. Correct, roads, correct, correct. Rather than crying over proper. That's, that's, that's pretty rational thinking. So, it gives you the same looks. Yeah. And I think uh, that's what's important. Yeah. So, okay, anyways, since we are in a Duma showroom, so uh, can you share with us what Duma products that you have put in the car? Okay. Uh, you know, we live in a very hot country. All right. You, know, and, uh, you usually have a temperature difference between the morning and the evening. So you see of almost 15, sometimes 20 degrees. Oh, it's crazy. Eh? And uh, I know 
it's my everyday use car. Yeah. So I go for meetings. I park it anywhere. Yeah. I can find space. Yeah. And uh, Duma is one of the few that has 99% UV actually. Yeah. 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 You know, and uh, so they also had one of the few companies that have protection on uh, paint protection flip. Oh yes, correct, correct. So I actually got this pretty much uh, as a requirement because uh, I drive long distance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And after two, three years, mm -hmm. sometimes after six months, we have slow chips and uh, I, I like to wash my car myself. Mm -hmm. And that's the time where I get to actually feel the exterior, see what, you know, what damages I've done. Uh, I know that. So it's painful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, you put PPF on the whole car? No, just the bonnet, the bumper, but it's... Yeah, because that's the that's the high the, the, the high risk area that we the area of greater service exposure, right? But what made you choose Luma films over other other uh, like I said, uh, I I was introduced to the owner of this establishment. Okay, okay. And uh, at the same time a lot of companies actually do tin innovation. Yeah. But uh, this is actually backed by Luma, mm -hmm. and it assures you that you have proper workmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so the workmanship part is, is something that people always underrate when they choose their team. Uh, and uh, it's an investment for the next five years, I think. Mean, it five year warranties. So you got to choose wisely, and I think today everybody is quite competitive. It's just a matter of you deciding and they've got good shapes. Yeah. You know, and I like what you say about, about it being an investment because a good tint in our market, right? Especially I say if you have to park your car a concept lot of time, it protects the interior plastics. And the other thing also of, of course is that your air conditioning system does not need to work as hard in a hot day. So overall are you satisfied with both the PPF as well as the Yes, right. Yeah. In fact uh, I just had a Crack and the front windscreen yeah. recently, yeah. yeah, and also got to be replaced by the new one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So BMW does a good job. They go back to the vendor that supports you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh wait, so 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 you have to change the front windscreen, right? And and what? And they want they send the windscreen to Luma to take the windscreen. Ah, uh, Luma goes over to BMW and takes it. Ah, it actually is actually it's a lot easier to to pre front to pre tint the windscreen before installing it. True. That's the liability because yeah. uh, these windscreens are not cheap. Oh, yes. and, uh, I had to wait three weeks because it was coming in from Germany. So, uh, as a car manufacturer, their liability is low when they install it. Wait, your your windscreen is not the same as a 320R or 330R windscreen? Uh, it looks the same, uh, but what I was told is there may be some differences. So, they usually go back and get according to the part number that's mm. on the BOA. Yeah, yeah. Or you follow your, follow, it follows your win number, right? Yeah. So I had the same question. I asked them why can't they get one from Kulin and just replace it here? Exactly, exactly. You know, but they said uh, the internal paperwork is not that easy. It's easy uh, to just shop about it. Shipping it from. Okay. Wait, how long have you had this car? So fast crack means screen really. Yeah. Uh, it's not the first one. Uh, there was another car that prior to mine, two weeks old, and I had to get it Oh! <laughs> this car is coming up to close to eight months. Right, right, right. So you are happy, you're overall, you're happy with it? Yes. Happy with the, with the tint as well? Uh, so far, it's not an issue at all. No, uh, it pulls down the car pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, it protects the outside. Yeah. I've got one or two stone chips and uh, basically you don't get to see them. Yeah, yeah, yes. And the thing is that when you use this, right, you no issue with, with smart tag, with your phone yeah. reception. Uh, that's actually very important. Phone reception is another issue. Yeah. And smart tag also is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, previously I've had other brands that I've used and I've had issues. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Some some brands because they are they are filled, they use uh, they use metallic elements in the film. Right. That inter interferes with uh, with smart tag signals and some brands their solution is they will cut a hole for you to hold your smart tag there. Alright, and also we have one of our colleagues there issues with uh, GPS reception. So when uh, when the car was tinted, she can't use Waze or Google Maps. And I think now uh, that with, with some people right now with Spotify generation, a lot of people 
go again to the car, hand their phones to the to the infotainment and play songs from Spotify. Are you one of those? I do. You do? And uh, the car actually comes with the uh, internal wireless. Yeah, yeah. Which you can connect. Yeah. Uh, a lot of smart things. Yeah. If you go to a certain car park every day, yeah. uh, just as you drive yeah. past, yeah. the windscreen just goes down by itself. Are you kidding? No. So there are certain things that uh, the car can do. It's all linked uh, to GPS. I feel like a dinosaur. Yeah. Because I, I, this, uh, this is something that I'm not feeling. <laughs> I, I was not too, but I was just playing around. Yeah. And I worked. Yeah. So, so the thing is that, right? With that, it would be quite a, it's quite it would be quite an inconvenience if you had a film that interferes with electronic sure, signals. Sure, sure. I think in today's world, yeah. uh, every car manufacturer is coming yeah. up with those kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Your, 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 your one is the is the pinnacle series, right? Your, the one with the ceramic, the ceramic based tint, right? True. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's about this car. But tell us more about your other cars because some, for somebody who made the choice to buy one of these before testing it, you are someone who obviously knows your cars, you are someone who knows what you want. So I'm sure my audience is curious to know what else do you have in your garage or what else did you previously have? Uh, my other car is a Macan S, a Porsche. And uh, it's fun driving, yep. you know, uh, you'll be surprised uh, how well it handles uh, yeah. then uh, it still looks like an SUV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this car is lighter, mm -hmm. so there are differences, yeah. so for different drives you enjoy you know, a different car. Yeah. And, and, and just now earlier in the video you mentioned you had an E90 325. Uh, would you like to share with the audience what, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm actually in a dying industry. It's an oil and gas industry. I've uh, uh, been around for the last 25 years. Okay, la. you bought two 3 liter cars at home, right? You're doing your best to prop it up. You're doing a fair job at propping it up. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so what we do is we actually supply instruments uh, okay. to the oil and gas industry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, company name is SM Group. Uh, SM Group, yeah. 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 And uh, it's a strong local company that's been around for the last 20 years. 20 years. Right. I, I used to be in, in, uh, in oil and gas as well. Well, in basically more something like what you were doing. I used to work for a company that supplied ball walls in oil and gas. So, uh, and it's a small world because when you say ball walls, my eyes just pop up because yeah. uh, we supply accessories to the ball walls. Ah. We also supply ball walls. Uh, we do have a manufacturing facility in Kota de Mansara. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, one of the two with API 6D. Yeah, AJ Petroleum. So. Similarity and no uh, small work. Very, very small. It will keep going, but then uh, it's going to get difficult yeah. because everyone is going towards uh, renewable energy. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's the way that you see the amount of electric cars coming in. Correct. Correct. So it's just a matter of time. Correct. But as you're like, in, in, for you personally, do you go uh, on the platforms or yes oh you, you, you spend time on platforms started going to the platforms in the late 90s yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's changed you know, the requirements yeah. the way you go we used to go by helicopters yeah, yeah. now it's all boat transfer yeah, yeah. so it's not easy yeah. but uh, it's a life that many people still it's you know I, I was in, in, in this industry too short of experience then but what's it like going on the platform how, how, how long do you go to platforms do you spend one see if you work there on a permanent basis it's two weeks on two weeks off mm -hmm. but when you go in as a vendor it can be anywhere from one day to 30 days mm -hmm. because uh, they don't allow you to stay longer than 28 days mm -hmm. uh, mental health is an issue correct correct no correct so uh, usually as vendors, if the job is longer than a month, we have to change crews. Mm -hmm. But uh, the longest I've been is about 18 days. How 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 is the 18? How the 18 days? Just waiting to get back to shop. You know, uh, as long as you have a routine, uh, you work 12 hours. Mm -hmm. So as long as you have a routine and uh, there's work to be done, you're pretty much tired out. You sleep, yeah. get up. Yeah, food is plenty. Yeah, you can choose. You know, every three hours to serve you something. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's an experience. 
Ah, yeah, it's an experience, but it's it's not it's not to everyone's taste, but yes. it's an experience, and I think it's the kind of experience also that that builds character, right? Uh, yeah, I, I have friends who worked in who worked on platforms too, and and none of them have shared with me that it's, it's anything that resembles fun. Yeah. Uh, you you'd be surprised if if that's your livelihood, then you have to find fun there. They have things to do. They got gyms. They have got. Uh, Karaoke, uh, pool tables. So it's how you receive the job and uh, yeah. look forward to it. Yeah. 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 So any of you guys watching, right? If you are, if you are someone who works regularly on a platform, this is my tribute to you. Thank you for your service to humanity. <laughs> Thank you. Stay safe. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that concludes our interview for today. Thank you so much for spending your time. No problem. But if you don't mind, would you be okay to show us around your home? Okay. So Mr. Ramesh is very kindly showing us the interior of his car. This is a very nice color combo. Yes. I think it's the it's the same combo exactly. in, the, in, in the in our local assembly. Okay. But it's a very very nice uh, combo. I. Re in my review, I mentioned that this is a very good uh, fit for the interior and I always like two-tone colours. Two-tone colours bring out the design of the cabin far better than a single swath of very black. True. Right? My, right? My McCann is a uh, red interior with uh, grey exterior. We shall show you inside. Okay, and it's a personalised welcome screen. So you've got the uh, digital cluster. Do you have a choice between this? It's, this is standard, right? No, it doesn't come with the analog. All right. Only on the three twenties, I think. So there's the M steering wheel over there, and but honestly, this car, what grabs really grabs my attention is the color, man. It's the exterior color. So, like I said earlier, yeah. if you look at the combination yeah. of uh, the grey yeah. interior yeah. and the chromium, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a, it's a it very complementary combo. So, what are the accessories that you pass on the car? You've got. This is the. That's a standard lip. That's a standard lip. Yeah. All right. Uh, a rear diffuser. This rear diffuser is not standard. It's just this piece, right? This black yes, piece, right? Piece. Right. Okay. And the side. Side skirting. The side skirting also you tambah one. Yes. Wow. And the front. Uh, front comes with a lip. The lip yes. is you. You add one, ah. Yes. Okay. But is this gloss black lip there as well? Yes. This came with a car. Uh, no. Oh, this one so you added one. Uh? This is part of the. The this is part. This whole thing is part of the accessory package. So you are driving the only M three forty i with the LED headlamps. Uh, yeah. Absolutely the, right. Yeah, yeah. And that's the. These are the standard rims. Standard rims, nineteen inch. Nineteen inch. Wow, those massive brakes, man! Those brakes are massive behind the wheel. Eh? No, the braking is. Fabulous. I think one of the key yes. things that uh, I don't have to think twice about a BMW is uh, the power to testing yep. and the braking system mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. just fabulous. Yeah. Fits the car. Fits the car very, very well. Very, very well. Okay, so guys, that's uh, Mr. Ramesh who very kindly uh, spent some time with us, showed us, showed us around his car. The only CBU BMW M340i in Malaysia brought in officially and uh, it's a it's a lovely car right here it, it's a very unique color uh, and 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 it's it, it's really driven and cared for by somebody who knows and loves his car okay yeah and when you sell this car let me know I will <laughs> When, I don't know, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Okay, guys. So, today's video was brought to you exclusively by Lumar. And just to share with you guys, uh, the Lumar Pinnacle Film Series, which is their most atas, most changi uh, film, all right, uh, is now available at 25% discount. So, the unique selling point of the Pinnacle Series is that it is ceramic-based. So, it gives high heat rejection keeps your car cool on a, on a hot sunny day but without interfering with electronic signals so you can still use your smart tech you can still use your google maps you can still use your waste you know you can still use your phone your spotify all that will not be interfered
All right, so head over to any Luma dealership today, inquire about the Luma Pinnacle film series for your car.